welcome to another video of my life in China. But first, I just want to say, you can always click subscribe if you're watching. Feel free to uh, leave a comment and let us know what you think as you're watching the video. It's always nice to hear from people. So we've already seen a lot of food being prepared um, outside in the streets, the, the old school way, in uh, past videos of my life in China. In this video, we're gonna take a bit of a closer look food preparation and storage in China. So we all know here that the Chinese really like fresh food. Why are your hands tight? Why are your hands tight? Hey buddy. Hello. Do you remember the goat in Taishan? That was a, an OMG moment for me. You can't really see in the video, but like I was there, I looked out the window and this guy at the end, he actually had this big hook knife in front of him. Can you imagine if we drove past 10 minutes later? Oh my god. Anyways, once I was on my lunch break. Just popped out during my lunch break and uh, come home to find this outside. This is quite common actually. Quite like to dry out their meat outside in the community <laughs> and sometimes you get rice or fruit but certain times of year just everyone's hanging up dead carcasses everywhere it's, it takes a bit of getting used to so i did some asking around and i found out it was actually a wenjo winter tradition so every winter they want to like get some different things and they dry it with salt hang it out to preserve it. I was just looking from the school and someone's actually got a rack of the stuff hanging out their window just there. Sorry to shake it, but zoom in a lot. Mm. It's got a whole load of this stuff hanging up there. Ugh. And they take something from the land something from the sky and something from the sea pork poultry fish no work like this fish was actually on the roof of my school the guard was drying his own meat at work get your fish or is it eel i don't know so they actually had a big big famine here. They call it the Great Famine and it lasted for over 20 years. In fact, apparently they were still feeling its effects 10 years ago. Still wasn't enough food for everyone. So they got really good at preserving food and they just kind of kept it up as a habit really. They especially like meat because that was the scarcest thing. Hello. There's some more stuff, not sure what that is. Is that a vegetable? Hmm. Could be meat. Potatoes. Is it sweet potato? I think it could be sweet potato. Or mango. Yeah. I mean, it's not just meat, they, they dry fruit and veg as well. <coughs> also got this. Not sure what this even is. Looks like a mushroom or something. Hmm. Although, to be fair, I often couldn't tell you what it is uh, without asking. I don't know what this stuff is either. It could be like mangoes, maybe a mushroom? I have no idea. Loads of it though. Until recently as well, people didn't tend to have a refrigerator. You see, that's changing rapidly now, but still, a lot of people are just used to going out, getting their fresh produce. I'm seeing that every day, people coming home from work with a bag of cabbage, some spring onions on there, carrot, if you're feeling devilish. And uh, also, <laughs> I've lost my train of thought in my carrot gag. It makes sense, like back in the day before you had a fridge, you'd want to like dry some stuff. And, and that was like, and even, you know, it makes it taste better. That's fine. Even now, if people have a refrigerator, they'll go buy some pork and they'll go salt it. 
it's the way it tastes or something. They got the, you know. I guess what I find odd about it is just the way they do it in the street. I mean, we make jerky and in the West, biltong and you know, things like that. I don't eat meat, but I just like, when I've grown garlic, I, I dry that out in the shed. It's just, it's in the street. You're gonna make your meat last longer. Just hang it out in your communal garden or if you haven't got a communal garden in your block of flats, pop it out in the street, it's fine. And I guess that shows people trust each other more here, because back in the UK I know someone, someone would have a nibble at that. Just walk in the puff. Puff, leave that alone, that's not nice, come on. And you'd see them drying their laundry outside too, which, that's totally, that is totally normal to me. Pretty good idea, you can hang up your laundry outside for it to dry. That's. That's not so exotic. Yeah. These outdoor taps, it's just a pipe with a screw. Path! But the people here are really resourceful. Um, so if you don't have a washing line, you can just do this. So that's it for this video. Little bit of a shorter one than the last few, but we've got some big adventures coming up. So make sure you click subscribe, give us a like, and whack a comment on there. Tell us what you think. Ask questions. It's cool. I'm approachable. Do I look, do I look unapproachable? What are you saying? Come on. Anyway, it's bye bye from me, and it's bye bye from Blakey Blake. I think she's, Having a poo. Bye for now. Bye bye.